Hello, I'm making a quick little tutorial on something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, but I've been procrastinating. Um, so this is to do with how you change the colors of the, the factions in, in Zero Hour, or rather the players in Zero Hour. So if you've been watching our cast lately, you would have noticed that we have a lot of black players, or I mean grey in the past, despite people not liking that. So the reason why we originally started doing that was because it would help our colorblind viewers distinguish the colors and and even just for ourselves personally it's really quite annoying having colors such as purple and pink and it's really hard to then distinguish whose army belongs to who on the mini map with the very small icons so i'll show you how to do this it's quite simple and all this information is courtesy of Hunter from SWR, from um, Rise of the Reds. He basically told me this. So I'm just relaying what he told me. So th thanks go to him for the information. So first thing that you need to do is get a program called XCC Mixer. I will provide a link for that in the description, or you can just Google it. You should be able to find that pretty easily. Uh, but then basically you, you run XCC Mixer. Uh, it brings up a lot of things. It, it's a pretty multi-purpose program. It, it's how you change the hotkeys. It's how you change a lot of things to do with your zero hour install. So you go file, open, and then you need to go to where your, your zero hour is installed. So you just find wherever it is. It's, you know, by default, program files, EA games, wherever it is. Or if you're not sure, you just go right click, f open file location on the shortcut that you have on your desktop and it brings it up. So you go into zero hour, then you need to go into ini zero hour zh dot big, and then you you open that, and then in the program xcc mixer it brings up a list of, of a whole bunch of files here. So this is basically it, it's like a, a a container for for all these different files. So you need to extract um, multiplayer dot ini. I believe. Where is it? Yeah, there you go. So data slash ini slash multiplayer dot ini. That's the, what we want here. So we want to extract that. So you right click, extract, and then you, you extract this into data ini, and then you save it here. I think by default, ini is there, the folder, but if it's not, just make the folder ini, and then you, you, you save that here. So what that does is it extracts the file that is inside of the that container file, the INI ZH. And then it means that whatever's in the the INI folder, it it overrides the default settings inside that container. So then when you open this in just text document, should do it by default, it allows you to change a bunch of different things here. So what we want to do is then change the colors. So th this is all the default settings that I've just extracted and overwritten my, my own edited thing. So then it's quite simple. You just find the color that you don't like and then you change it. So for example, what I don't like is purple and pink. So what I do then is I find pink and the multiplayer color here is pink. I should probably uh, enlarge the size of this font. That would make it easier to see in the video. Yeah, that probably helps. So we've got pink. So what we want to do then uh, is the, the RGB, the combination. So that allows you to create essentially any ca color going off of the, the combination of those. So if I want black, which is what I do, because black is very easy to distinguish and it, it's easy to tell, uh, then I just go one, one, one. So that would be that would be black, or for example, two fifty five would be that would be blue. So but then I have two blue, so that's kind of silly. So if we put, just put that into into black, um, that will I can change that to black. I don't think it actually matters. It just that that's what the colors called when you when you go under the the in game options and when you choose what color you want. Um, now the the night color, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I'm I'm pretty sure just by the name of it, it's the color when you're playing on a nighttime map because because some maps are at nighttime and the colors look different, so that's probably it. I don't normally bother with that, whatever. You might as well change it to the same. 
Uh, and now one thing to note with these colors is the saturation is different for the 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 units. So on on infantry, um, if 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 you have the color black, it'll have it'll it'll, it'll display it white on infantry. Which is quite strange in terms of the the unit model, not the icon on the minimap. And it's the same with any of the colors. If you have a very dark blue, and then your your tanks and your your buildings and your icons are all a dark blue, but then for some reason, the infantry will display as a light blue. It, it's, it's it's a little bit weird there. So you you can of course have light blue and dark blue, um, but you need to bear in mind that when, when you have infantry, they'll look the same. They'll go to whatever is the, the light of that color. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video so people can do it themselves if they wanted to. Um, Zero, it's a very old game. We're pretty much all RTS games now. Most games have colorblind support where you just you know, click a box in the menu and does this for you. But if you want to yeah, change the colors to whatever you see fit, then um, feel free to do so. That's all you need to do. Uh, then if you just save this and then open Zero Hour and then the colors will be changed for you. So now one thing I want to explain as well is well, what this means that we can do is th this this will mean that when you play, your colors will be changed, but also same with the replays. It'll, it'll change the player's color in a replay. And what what is possible for us to do then as a result is for every single replay that we cast to be red versus blue, which is obviously the best thing because then it's really easy. It's it's bright and it's a big color difference. But it just meant that if I was to have red versus blue every single time we did a replay, I would have to load the replay, see what colors they are, go in here, and then change the colors. So that kind of would take a bit too long to do it every single time. So it's not really going to be something that we're, we're doing because it'll be um, you know a big time commitment. It probably takes about a minute. You know, a minute, and if we're casting a best of eleven series, it's just the can't be bothered kind of thing. Um, but at least as long as you know we remove pink, the black because pink's annoying. You know, because you got red, pink, and purple, they're all quite similar. Um, and yeah, hopefully that that helps. If anyone wants to give it a go themselves, this really should have explained it, everything. If I've missed something out, or if if you're struggling with it, then um, leave a leave a comment, and maybe I'll I'll respond to it. And yeah, see you next video. Thanks for watching.